Number seven, Cobosiconte Lake. Lake Cobosiconte, sometimes just called Lake Cop locally, is a short distance from Augusta and provides a variety of water sports and activities because the lake has a sizable population of northern pike and both smallmouth and largemouth bays, fishing in the most popular activity. Number 6. Old Federal Building in Downtown Architecture Strolling down Water Street in downtown Augusta will make you feel as though you are strolling into a time capsule. The Old Federal Building, often known as the Old Post Office, is its crown jewel. Number 5. Viles Arboretum A minimum of one or two hours should be dedicated to visiting the grounds of the Viles Arboretum, a haven for nature enthusiasts including a diverse range of trees, botanical exhibitions and sculptures. On its 224 acres, there are walking pathways spanning 6 miles. Number 4. Blaine House Although it is conveniently located next to the Capitol building, the official residence of the Governor of Maine was not constructed with the function in mind. Construction is 1833 initially. Harriet Blaine Beale gave it to the state in 1919 following the passing of her son. Number 3. Vaughan Woods and Historic Homestead This 197-acre natural park features meadows, woodlands and charming creek with some stone bridges. It also features the historic Vaughan Homestead which dates back to the late 1700s, while local children and parents frequently refer to Vaughan Woods as Hobbitland. Number 2. Museum in the Streets There are many museums in the streets. Location is Augusta where visitors may learn about more important historical sites and events from early spring through late fall, covering subjects including early stores, the Great Fire of 1865, a notorious bank heist, and even the spectacle of elephants marching down Water Street in 1829. Over half of these are situated along water and commercial streets in downtown Augusta. Number 1. Visit the Main State Capitol Building Main State's house is domed and overlooks Capitol Park from the top of Weston's Hill. Constructed in 1832, a year after the city was chosen to house the state government, this edifice is surrounded by well-kept grounds.